In this video, I'm gonna share with you my best check ride tips. Missouri Nation, Jason Schappert here of the Missouri Way Online Ground School. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my best check ride tips. Doesn't matter, private, instrument, commercial, ATP, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna share with you the best tips I really only share with our online ground school members. It's funny, every Tuesday I do a webinar with those ground school members in addition to the great videos and we do mock check rides and ask questions. And we're always asking, what are some of your best check ride tips? Well. Uh, I'm gonna share them with you here now, whether you're a ground school member, whether you're not, maybe you're one in the future as well, m0atrial.com if you ever wanna check it out for two weeks, totally, uh, no strings attached, no credit card needed as well. Here's tip number one of my best check ride tips. It's to make a wind card. What on earth is a wind card? Well, you know for a fact you're going to do a diversion on your cross country. You gotta answer some simple questions like, what direction? How long is it gonna take me to get there? And do I have enough fuel to make it there? Well, first step, let's get headed in the right direction. That's easy, we don't need to get to the, to the degree, but just generally, not a 332 heading, but a, a, a 330 heading is fine to get us heading there for now. We can fine tune it as we get closer. How long will it take me to get there? Well, for that, I need to know my ground speed. But if I'm changing headings from what I planned to something over here, my ground speed could change significantly. So what I do is create a wind card for my altitude, and on the main cardinal headings, let's say, and a few in between, I write down my ground speed, what my ground speed would be if I tuned or turned to any of those headings. So I know a 330, roughly, that'll be 90 knots. Now I can say it's 10 miles away at 90 knots, traveling for 10 miles will take me that long. That's the power of a wind card. I don't know, did you see uh, the video uh, two weeks ago, the ultimate check ride strategy? If you watched all the way to the end, uh, Holly Bott, one of our phenomenal online ground school members for many, many years, shared how she made her wind card and then even made a small version and actually taped it to her sectional chart for her check ride, knowing the diversion was coming. That's a good pilot who's always learning and always thinking ahead as well. Speaking about that, uh, I know I mentioned some previous videos. If you're loving this series, May 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern time, I'm doing a huge mock check ride. Private instrument commercial CFI type questions right here on YouTube and Facebook. May 31st, 8 p.m. Eastern time, there's links below. Set it up in your iPhone and your Android phone too. You can make a calendar alert there. So tip number one, I'm all over the place today, sorry. Tip number one is to make a win card. Tip number two, you need to tab your far aim, highlight it, dog ear it. It should look well used. In fact, all your aviation books should look well used. Can I tell you, tell you a secret here? Um, I'm not proud of this. I had uh, one of my learners when I was in Jacksonville showed up for their check. I said, listen, you need to make sure your sectional chart's current, your far aim's current, everything else. I didn't realize this whole time he had never owned a far aim. So, the week before his check ride, he did what I said. He bought a far aim. I just said, you need to have a far aim. I wasn't specific about it. I wasn't specific enough. He showed up, we're getting all set up at the little table we're gonna do the check ride at, and I see his far aim, and it's still in the saran wrap, like still in the shrink wrap from being shipped to him. I said, is this? He said, Jason, you just said to get a far aim. I said, the check ride examiner is gonna kill you if you show up with an unopened, unless it's January 1st and it just flipped over to the new year, your far aim should look well used. I'm not proud of this. I took it out of the saran wrap. I went to 91205, we dog-eared some pages, made some highlights. I literally went out to the parking lot. I, I can't make this up. I put the far aim face down and kind of scratched it against the, the rough asphalt of the pavement just so it looked a little bit well used. Don't, don't go that far with it, just truly use it so it is well used. Have everything tabbed. I'm okay if you buy one of the pre-tabbed ones, the folks, Lively Aviation, just great, great people. I'm okay if you wanna do that, if you wanna tab it yourself. My point is, I want some sticky notes, I want some tabs, I want some highlights, I want some dog ears, I want this far aim, and any other aviation books for that matter, well used is my point. In fact, if you're watching this on Facebook, could you like take a picture of your far aim and put it in the comments? I wanna see, see some good looking tabbed far aims. That's what I wanna see. Here's a tip number three. It's bring snacks. 
I know that's a Jason thing to say, right? You know I love my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and pretzels and I could live on them. It's how I got to be so tall. But bring snacks. Your check ride literally is a marathon. Who knows what I'm talking about? It, you're not, it's not like a one hour flight lesson. It's 30 to 45 minutes of just paperwork and making sure you even qualify for the check ride. Then the oral exam, the ground exam, and then pre-flight and then flying. A fast check ride, three, four hours, is a fast private pilot check ride. My CFI check ride was two days. The oral exam alone was four hours. That's not including all the paperwork and, and logbook reviews. That was just back and forth questions, four hours. We got to the end of it and I, he said, do you wanna fly? I said, honestly, I am mentally exhausted. He goes, that's okay. We booked two days for it just in case. He said, if you can get all in one day, it's great. If not, let's book 8 a.m. the next day as well. And we did. I said, I, I'm gonna take you up on doing the flying portion the next day because I was mentally exhausted. A check ride is like a marathon. Make sure you bring water, make sure you bring snacks, make sure they are life-given things, not like Snicker bars, no offense to Snicker bars, but like let's do some healthy stuff and everything else, not too much caffeine or anything like that. And we talked about this two videos ago on the ultimate check ride strategy. What are some of your favorite flying snacks, by the way? Another good comment to leave down below. What are some other great check ride tips? I just covered three of them here. I wanna hear from you all. I want this to be a, a comment thread of just light for future check ride applicants to, to know as a resource that they can truly go to. Hey, don't forget about the big live stream, May 31st. That's Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Tuesday, May 31st, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on YouTube, right here on Facebook. So make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You follow and like us here on Facebook so you get all of those alerts. You can also RSVP down below. There's a Facebook link to do that as well. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thanks for all the kind words on the check ride books, on the online ground school. You know, M0A is your one-stop shop for passing the written, passing the check, right? Most importantly, making you that safe, real-world pilot. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya.